Hey guys, Susanna here. Well, um, I really love this prompt. I've just gotten, I really like Sarah's um, red and white. And um, I thought I'll just do the sewing of the background on left the middle. Um, I had this really cute um, postcard and I thought it was Christmas greetings, but it's actually birthday greetings. So... <laughs> Oh, it doesn't matter, I'm going to work with it. I, um, I stuck it on some heat and bond just to make, make it um, firmer, like more like paper. And then I got washi tape and stuck it and so I tried it a few times in black and white just to where I would um, like where it would go. And then I ended up printing it on. Um, yeah, it was just sort of like a really soft linen. So um okay so it's got a bit of heat and bond on the back of it which is good but i want to put um some lace and stuff and everything in between here's my finished um gingerbread house i haven't finished putting it in there but they've got to be next to each other so i want them to match okay so i'll just put that aside got all bits and pieces ribbons and all the stuff i've been trying to decide okay i'll zoom it in a tad my buttons okay now I wanted to have I've got I want to I'm gonna put that on there like that but I'm gonna like that's gonna go underneath okay see I might I might press down, um, put some glue on there. Hopefully that'll hold that down that little bit. There we go. I thought that would be good for um, hiding that birthday greeting on the top because I thought I like the word greetings. And even this may all the years years ahead be full of happy days and every path you tread be said in pleasant ways i mean that could be a nice christmas greeting um so i've got i'm gonna get some rickrack and even though it's you know it's definitely vintage because it's old in places but i quite like that um so i'm sort of gonna have this on a bit of an angle um where did i do where's my word christmas i did I was contemplating on putting the word like that's a printed Christmas greetings but I thought if I have this on there and then I'm going to put some lace underneath Oh, no. I just thought lace is vintage just looks a little vintage I might even pull it up a little higher so that it can cover that bit there that'll be cute so we'll have that higher and there you go like that and then I'm going to put the rickrack on top and that's going to hold that down so we're going to somehow pinch this in. Um, like that, so it'll sew around. There we go. Um, it'll hold down when I iron it. even pin that for now just okay and that I want that to go the same because it's got the heat and bond underneath hopefully I'll hold that down That'll 
hold that down. There we go. And then, hmm, that's rather cute. So what I might do, push that in, let that hold that in, push that in. I am going to go to the um, iron and iron that down. Here we go. Sorry, probably wasn't in camera. I'll be back. Okay, well, I've ironed that down and it ironed down wonderfully, which is good. So, and I even put a bit of Lysafix, some of this on the back of that, just to hold it down. And you can still see the birthday, but that's okay because we are going to put. I'm going to put that there. So, um, and then we've got some. Oops, got a button to put there. And I'm going to put a button here. And maybe a little one. We'll just we'll see how it goes. See, I was thinking of maybe having that button on the top there or maybe even some turkey work or whatever coming out of there. But that will iron down there. So that will cover the word birthday. And I'll make sure I'll cover that B. So like I found myself a nice... Um, Vintage EIO, which is good. I mean, even if I don't cover it completely, you're not going to know what it is. Um, I don't know. I just I don't think that that works. Um, I've got another another one. I'm going to have two. But I think probably just the one works. Now, what I'd like to do is get some Rick Rack and put it along there and go around the corner and see how it's a little bit on the dirty side. But that's okay because it's vintage. It's a bit annoying, but you know, that's how it goes. I'm going to, I might cut it up a little further, but I'd like to start on the top. Oh, it's going to look so cute. The reason why I got this is because my little, my little cat, it looks a lot, very much like my cat. Maybe she's a little bit more sort of grey tabby colour. This, this has turned out a bit brown, but very similar colouring, white on the front and brown on the ears. And I thought, oh, it's very cute. Now, I'm going to, I don't know whether I use that, or whether I use that, it's a pinky red, or I do like that, but I will probably use six strands rather than um, one. Uh, to whatever because it's this is actually from um, what's it called the um, woodland series that I got from um, Lisa Maddock and that beautiful one that I used for um, for my little woodland stuff okay I am going to just glue that down cut that a little because I want to go over the top of that Okay, let's see how we are going to go with that. 
and then this will tie in with my um, little gingerbread house because I had some of this on the little gingerbread house so cute and then that's what will hold it all down Okay, now, um, oh, I probably, probably pulled it down too far, so what I'm going to do is I usually start around about there, because I'm going to do my usual, open over. Okay. Maybe string six strands is being a bit too op optimistic. <laughs> I always have to figure out how how I start this. Okay. But this is the seems to be the perfect colour for it. Maybe I should start at that end. Go like that, there we go, and then like this. Oop. There we go. Okay, very thick, but. gonna be nice and then we go like that there we go now we're now we're cooking okay okay and it's a variegated thread and go my iron and so I'm grabbing the, the background and it's holding down um, holding down everything holding down the lace holding down the rick rack holding down this but because it's Liza fix that's pretty much down Liza heat and bond Liza fix in Australia. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So what I will do um, is I'll pause it. You get the basic drift of what I'm doing, and I really love that red against the white, and that will probably hide some of this, um, the brown anyway. I like that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we are back again. How cute does that look? I love it. It's almost got a uh, a bit of a like a tartany look about it because it's got the tartan in there. Okay, so I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue on that and stick that there and get it over the, the birthday as quick much as I can and then we're going to just do a little a little slip stitch going all the way around yeah. I had a lot of stuff planned out beforehand so that's why this one is going particularly quick because I did a lot of thought beforehand 
very, very, very cute. I'm glad I um I chose this because it's personal. And I might use that one's a bit shorter. Now I'm just using a polyester thread. Can get a bit tricky to get down sometimes because you've got to get a few, a few through a few layers. Okay. I may come back and noticing that's coming up. I may come back and with a bit of this thread and just hold that down a bit. And I think I might do a little bit of turkey work in the middle of it. I'm usually always doing buttons. So a bit of turkey work might be nice. gotten a little bow here which I was thinking because it's blue I was thinking of sort of mimicking that a little bit and couching it down or I could probably even do it there but I think here's probably going to be better and I'll sort of I'll couch it down but I don't want to um you know I want to be able to read that I think that would be really cute and gives it a 3d effect um and then maybe use some of that to do the bit of turkey work in the in the center I think that will work so had this little um, yo-yo for a while and I had a couple of them and I did use it in my the woodland quilt that I've got um, because it's perfect mushroom colours but I'm really glad I've got it on here because it really is an awesome colour and it's vintage which works in with the theme as well oh my, my goodness sorry I'm threading all the time got to go through a few layers I thought I won't be bothered stopping it I'll just continue to sew just sew and yep <laughs> she says I think I will stop it. Um, I haven't got that far to go. Oh my goodness, it always keeps coming out. But I haven't got that far to go. There we go. Covering, pulling it over cover that B, not that you would know. Now it's doubled up. Urgh, seriously. I can't win, I tell ya. Oh, I tell ya. Oh well, it's doubled up. Um, where are we? Here we are. I'm trying. So, this is why it's a pain that it's doubled up because it makes it shorter. Okay.
One good thing about it is I can tie it off. Do a tiny little knot, which I will probably. Um, I'm going to say do off camera, but oh well, we'll hang in there and do it. Um, I really love what the girls have done this month. I think I was contemplating doing a um, envelope as well, like do sort of something halfway between Sarah and um, Rachel. Um, you know, like have the postcard coming out of an envelope. But um, I ended up doing this. Got to make stuff our own. Okay, now. Put that up. Um, there you go, can you see it on? Help me, why is it going? Like that. I mean, you can still see the blue underneath. And then I quite like this button. It's quite nice. Mm. I've got you three. And if you stick that on the top. I don't know. Oh. Well, I'm probably going to use, I've got a couple of these. Just trying to think what would be the best colour to do maybe that to do the couching in I need something that's a bit sharper Sort of go off to the side a little bit. I'm probably out of camera again. Um, had that in there like that. And then a needle. I do like the big one. Let's have a look what it looks like from your end. Maybe the big one in the corner and that down there. And do that the opposite. I don't know. You don't always have to have more than that, do you? Or have that one and that one because that looks three but I love the color of that I think that's awesome maybe I can have that one maybe one big one and one small one yep I think that works and then we'll have some turkey work in the corner coming out of there I think okay let's see let's see how we go with that so we've just finally decided on what we are doing 
doesn't always come through the the needle okay okay so yep there we go and greetings and then that'll go there like that I think hanging out and that could probably I might even cut that just have it going around yeah I think that's really cute it gives it that real um, vintage element and I could even probably do some French knots on these flowers that might be nice so cute my little moggy okay well I'll film doing this um, I'll tie a knot in this that's for the, the uh, couching beautiful color this and then See how we go. Oop. Oh, it's never easy pulling through. Um, oh my goodness. It's never easy pulling through wool, I can tell you. Here we go. Okay. Well, let's see how we go with this. Might have to keep on using this back and forth. Well, at least I won't need that many because it's wool. I won't need that many loops, thank goodness. It's going to be rather tricky, I think. Things we do for craft day. Eh? Probably wreck my, wreck my um, needle. Pull that through. There we go. Just want to sort of see what it looks like a little bit. The more we get, the harder it's going to be to pull through. Oh, good lord. Because it's looping in on itself. I might do um, maybe, maybe six. You get the drift. You'll see the picture in the thumbnail. There we go. So my, I'm going to have that and that there, that, and I might even maybe do some French knots on these. I think that would be really cute. Oh, too close. Okay, guys, thank you very much. It's probably my least Christmassy looking one, but I'm trying to Christmas it up a bit. <laughs> and I think having the rick rack and you know all that kind of stuff. And see here that that is being placed down rather nicely and even here so okay i will catch you in the next video thanks for watching guys and i hope you are enjoying doing your christmas um prompts as well on the facebook page there's there being so many beautiful gingerbread houses and nutcrackers and everything and they just look amazing so okay i'll catch you later thanks for watching bye